If you're a seafood lover, you may want to re uh, rather consider recycling those oyster shells. Yeah, a representative from SCDNR says oyster shell recycling impacts a lot more than just oysters. Autumn Klein joins us live to tell us about the importance of oyster shell recycling and how you can get involved. Good morning, Autumn. Good morning, Nick and Shelby. According to SCDNR, oysters filter up to 50 gallons of water a day. They protect our shorelines from storms and provide habitats for many of the fish and crabs we eat. SCDNR says that oysters play a critical role in our ecology, economy, and culture. I am told that annually people across the state consume over 300,000 bushels of oysters, but we recycle less than 15% of that. According to a representative from SCDNR, South Carolina is what they call substrate limited. This means that we have a very large population of oysters in South Carolina, but we do not have a lot of things in the environment for them to attach to. So putting the shells back in the environment provides more locations for the oysters to attach to, increasing the population and allowing them to continue harvesting oysters. SCDNR has 10 different drop off locations in Charleston County for any individual or restaurant owner to bring their shells to. They also have a recycling program you can join where they will come pick up your shells every Tuesday or Friday. Cody Potvin with SCDNR says even if you do not eat oysters, recycling the shells still impacts you because oysters are a keystone species. Most people who don't eat oysters, maybe they don't necessarily care about recycling or ensuring that uh, oyster shells are recycled. But if you're a fisherman or if you like shrimp or you uh, enjoy eating any of the fish species we have off the coast of Cal uh, South Carolina, they're all dependent upon oysters, either as habitat or as a food source. Potvin says that spreading this awareness is how they keep increasing these numbers and keep these natural resources because he said it starts with the public. Folly Beach, Mount Pleasant and the city of Charleston just released proclamations recognizing a day honoring oyster shell recycling and I am told that some plan to do this annually. Reporting live in Charleston, Autumn Klein, Live 5 News.